Hey, trust me, this is all coincidence. I did not plan to make three straight Oilers-related videos in three days. That just happened to happen because the schedule of videos involving prospects and young guys that I like just happened to depict a Yamamoto video and then a video relating to Philip Broberg and now a video about Jesse Pugliarvi. It's actually kind of funny because this idea that we're talking about here is probably one of the most discussed ideas in my comment section. Every time I make a video about any of these players, I always get the suggestion, hey, this team should do this, swap with this other team for this other player, and we're finally talking about it in a video here because it's actually reported in the Edmonton Journal and it's not just something that people are talking about in my comments. We actually have legitimacy to this now. Let's go to the Edmonton Journal's article published two days ago by Kirk Levens. Edmonton Oilers prospect news, developing playoff picture, and the future of a controversial former executive. Nine things. This is an article I'll leave in the description box below. You can check the link, read it yourself. There are nine different things discussed about Edmonton Oilers stuff here. Also, Dolini TV, my friend Tyson, has already made a video about this, citing this same article. So you can check out his video over there and check out his take on the situation. But the fourth thing that's gone over in this article is the big, juicy piece of information that we are interested in in this video here today. So, without further ado, let's cite what Kurt Levens is saying about the Edmonton Oilers. An old associate of mine in New York tells me that there is renewed smoke these days over the possibility of a trade between the Rangers and Oilers involving Jesse Pugliarvi. It goes something like this. Edmonton is not opposed to the idea of receiving Blue Shirts prospect Leash Anderson, but word in New York is that Ken Holland would also demand a first-round pick from the Rangers, with another mid-level Oilers prospect included in a two-for-two two deal. Any fire here? Unsure. I haven't heard the same from anyone in Edmonton. Huh. Okay. So it turns out that weird idea that everybody was kind of memeing and joking around about in my comments, huh, the Rangers should trade Anderson for Polly Yarvey. These two players need a change of scenery, you know, and because their situations are eerily similar, it automatically depicts them as potential trade candidates, right? It's kind of funny how the fan bases take a look at players around the league, and if they notice similar situations of players going on in different scenarios, they automatically assume that a swappage of these players in similar situations but for different teams is appropriate. It happened a few years ago with the Lucic, Neil, Erickson thing. All these old guys who were really good before but on really bad contracts now, there was an idea of a three-way trade with those guys all the way back in the summer of last year. But this anderson Pugliarvi thing has a little bit of a different flavor. Two young guys, two players that you could probably say are still prospects, who abandoned their NHL teams, went over to Europe, started doing really well, and have had... Internal difficulties, let's just say, with maintaining their spots in the lineup, either due to skill, work ethic, and their overall engagement in being a part of the organizations they play for. Which is why Paul Uyarvi for Anderson has been something that many people have been talking about on Twitter, in my YouTube comments section, and all the like as well. It's just crazy to me that reading this Edmonton Journal article there actually appears to be an interest from the Edmonton Oilers' point of view. It's just weird to lay out the terms on this one. Ken Holland wants a first-round pick from the Rangers, and in turn, he's also going to send a B-tier prospect to New York. So if we work out a deal, it could look something like this. Jesse Pugliarvi and any one of these B-tier prospects, you could say, for the sake of argument, let's just say Raphael Lavoie. 
let's say that, Polly Yarvey and Raphael Lavoie for Elias Anderson and a first round pick. Now, if you're taking a look at this on the surface, if you remove the prospect and the pick, what Ken Holland is insinuating here is that Jesse Pugliarvi is more valuable than Elias Anderson. And to that idea, you could debate that their trade value should be similar because they're both born in the same year and they're both going through the same problems in terms of developing on their own hockey teams. But at the same time, if you take a look at resume, you take a look at NHL impact, Jesse Pugliarvi is a guy who has played 139 NHL games, he has 37 points. Furthermore to that point, his past season in the Liga this year had 53 points in 56 games. He was legitimately really good. Leash Anderson hasn't played an extended amount of time in the NHL yet, he only has 66 games played, and he only has 9 points. Furthermore, he was up and down everywhere, in the AHL he wasn't amazing, but playing in the SHL after getting loaned over there in the middle of the season, he honestly looked pretty good in the 15-game sample size that he had. Sure, the potential for both of these players to become good does exist, and the potential of one of them superseding the other does exist too. I wouldn't be surprised if Leish Anderson was a better player than Pugliarvi in like five or six years, it's just, you can't really tell. So, when you take a look at a trade idea like this, you want to swap these players, you have to take a look at what they've already accomplished, what they've already established as the truth, and what they're probably capable of doing in the now. Which is why it makes sense to me to say that Pugliarvi is, in some form or another, just a tad more valuable than Elias Anderson, to the point where Ken Holland wants to equalize the trade by adding a first-round pick on the New York side and adding a B-tier prospect on the Edmonton side. So, before we wrap things up here, because I know it's a very interesting idea, I want you to comment in the comments below if there is a trade that goes down like this, a B-prospect, Pugliarvi, in exchange for Anderson and a first. Who is that prospect? I know a lot of people probably wouldn't be super familiar with the Edmonton Prospect organization. Some people will be, some people won't. That's okay. But if this is the status quo of the trade details as we know it, is it a Raphael Lavoie-like player? And if you're trading for Elias Anderson, are you willing to depart with the potential of a Pugliarvi and the potential of a Raphael Lavoie if it means getting Anderson and a first? That first, by the way, would most likely be, like, right in the middle of the pack. The New York Rangers right now have a very decent and average draft pick in the first round. That's just how it is. They're not super high up there. They're, like, dead smack in the middle. So, if that's the kind of pick that Ken Holland is valuing, then we may get a bigger indicator as to how much the value is in all these assets, I guess. Obviously, though, it's weird taking a look at it because these ideas, oh, the first round pick and Anderson for Pugliarvi and the prospect, that's just what New York people are saying. In Edmonton, the information we have is that apparently the Oilers would not be opposed to trading for the guy, and there isn't really any idea from people in Edmonton as to what the Oilers would offer or what the Oilers would want from the Rangers. Again, the Rangers first overall thing, that's just from the New York point of view. It's weird how different trade ideas stem differently in different locations and how one city's worth of journalists may be saying, okay, the team wants this, but then another city's worth of journalists can say, okay, no, they don't want that. So I don't really know if there's any merit to this actually happening. Obviously, we've seen some of these weird situations where players are in these weird predicaments with their teams and they eventually get swapped. Pretty much for the sake that they both need changes of scenery. It happened last year with Neil for Lucic. We will see if that happens again here with Anderson and Pugliarvi. I know there are many other teams that would be interested in Pugliarvi, though. That video we made about him going to the Habs? My goodness. That video got like 200 comments, and it was pretty much 50-50 of people split between wanting him and not wanting him. So when it comes to these guys, Anderson, Pugliarvi, these 2016-2017 drafted prospects, there's a very big debate as to who should be valuable, who is valuable, and who people would want to trade for. So comment down below all your comments and thoughts in the comment section below. Check out Dolany TV's video on this topic as well as the article in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video. And...
Bye.